Small change for a multi-billionaire, but another significant step for mankind. Jeff Bezos' spacecraft soared out of the Earth's atmosphere, perhaps bringing closer the day when civilians will regularly travel to space. <laughs> Those on board were soon experiencing the novel sensation of weightlessness. Here, look. Oliver. Move your head just a little. Oh, that's great! Can you move your head a little while it's fast? Oh, yeah. Hi, Mom! I love it. Less than 11 minutes later, it was all over. A soft landing in the Texas desert. And touchdown! <laughs> At a news conference afterwards, their excitement still hadn't diminished. On how it felt, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> my expectations were high and they were dramatically exceeded, but it felt so serene and peaceful and the floating. It's actually much nicer than being in full one gravity. It felt great. It, 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 I felt like I was just laying down. I was just laying down and I was going into space. And I want to thank you, sweetheart, because you made it possible for me. I've been waiting a long time <laughs> to finally get it up there. To all you kids down there. The new Shepard mission came just nine days after Bezos' fellow billionaire businessman, Richard Branson, successfully completed his suborbital flight aboard Virgin Galactic. Ultimately, they'll be competing for a space tourism market that's estimated to be worth $3 billion a year within a decade. But for one day at least, thoughts of business were put to one side in favor of a celebration of the sheer joy of human exploration. John Brain, TRT World.